Hello! In this video, I will introduce Portia, a visual web scraping tool that you can use to extract the data that you need from the web. First, let's create a Portia project here in Scrapy Club. Let's call it First Crawler. Now we select Portia as the scraping technology and hit Create. Then we get redirected to Portia. Today, we are going to scrape books information from a fictional bookstore available at books.toscrape.com. Let's start by creating a new Porsche Spider for this website. Now, we have to tell Porsche which data we want to extract. In our case, we want to extract the book price, availability and title from all the book pages from this bookstore. So, all we have to do now is go to a random book page like this, create a new sample from it and select the data we want Porsche to scrape. Then, Porsche will try to apply our selections for all the pages that it visits in the website. Alright, let's create a sample. And now select the data that we need. Let's start with the title. We click on it and type in a field name for this selection. Here in the sidebar, we can preview the data that would be extracted from this page. As you can see, the title is already here. Now let's select the price. We click on it and type in a field name. And here it is. We can get rid of this currency symbol here by defining this field data type as price. So here we have the price. And finally, let's do the same for the stock information. And here we have the stock. If we only want the number of items in stock, we can change the data type here to number. Ok, now that we have selected the data that we want to extract from each book page, we can close our sample and our spider is ready to go. This spider will start by fetching the URL that we have here in the start page setting. Then, it will follow every in-domain link found in the page and repeat this for new pages, as defined here in the link crawling setting. It will visit every one of these links because they are all internal from the same domain and try to extract the data that we selected in our sample. Alright, now let's run our spider and check the results. First, we have to publish the project to Scrapy Cloud and now we can go to Scrapy Cloud dashboard and run our spider. Here we click run, select our spider and run it. Now let's check out our data and here it is. Now we can download it in CSV format and open in a spreadsheet like this. Now it's time to try Porsche by yourself. In the next videos, you'll see different ways to crawl a website using Porsche. See you there!